football has a proud and long-standing tradition at the University of Nevada, dating back to the late 19th century. The team of 1898 was the first to play on the original Evans Field, which continued to serve as the venue into the early years of the 20th century. Not until Clarence Mackey donated money for an upgrade in 1909 was the stadium renamed in his honor. Mackey is seen here the training headquarters also named after him, practicing with the football players. During a football game, the training headquarters could clearly be seen towering over the field. Games at Mackey Field ensued in the coming years, such as this one when the team included James Rabbit Bradshaw, the first All-Star in program history. Another such game was this one against Santa Clara in 1923 for homecoming. Crowds of a few hundred gathered here at the field for homecoming in 1926. By the end of the 1920s, plane travel was becoming more common, and these players were among the first to do so for a road football game. Success during the 1934 season included a 9-7 victory over St. Mary's, at that time the largest in program history. In the early 1940s, Nevada football found some success with Marion Motley, one of the only black players in college football at the time, and one of Nevada's all-time greats. Dick Trachok was another player who made a name for himself during this decade, alongside standout Stan Heath. Football at the University of Nevada continued to thrive into the 1950s. The amount of gear worn during games was increasing and the helmets were quickly changing. By 1960, former player Dick Trachok had taken over as the head coach and earned some much deserved respect in the university's athletic department. And only seven years later, Mackey Stadium was moved to its current location on the North Campus. But it was Chris Alt who would ultimately take the program to new heights by becoming the most winning coach in school history and one of the best in college football. Alt took over a stumbling program in 1976 and established the team's winning culture. Before the 1970s came to a close, Nevada made a habit of winning behind players like Frank Hawkins, whose number 27 jersey remains the only one in program history ever to be retired. In the face of the 1980s, the football team continued to grow as a powerhouse program. Throughout that decade, the program's momentum only increased with a conference championship and a number one overall ranking at the Division I AA level in 1986. This feat was repeated in 1991 behind quarterbacks Chris Vargas and Fred Gatlin, and Nevada was on the brink of advancing to the Division I level the following year. At the start of the new millennium, the Nevada Wolfpack moved from the Big West Conference to the Western Athletic Conference. With Chris Alt's return to coaching, Nevada found renewed success in 2005 behind quarterback Jeff Rowe. Rowe is seen here during the game against arch-rival UNLV, who Nevada went on to beat for the first time since 1999. The team also ended up winning a share of the WAC title that year, and made its first bowl game appearance since 1996. Mackey Stadium is viewed here in 2010, during which season the program compiled its best in school history, the share of the WAC title, a 13-1 overall record, and a final ranking in the polls of number 11 behind players like Colin Kaepernick and Vi Tawa. The most notable of its victories was a thrilling 34-31 overtime upset over the fourth-ranked Boise State. Nevada football is still on the rise today as a member of the Mountain West Conference. <laughs>